2018 BMW 5 Series Review The 2018 BMW 5 Series is fast, comfortable and stuffed with technology. The 2018 BMW 5 Series lives as much as the expectations set by its forebears. Fears a motor room fire for nearly anyone, as well as the car's handling capabilities are fundamentally sound. Factor within the 5 Series latest tech and safety measures, along with a prime pick to get a mid-size luxury sedan. BMW redesigned its 5 Series a year ago giving the vehicle updated styling along with a bit more interior room without increasing weight. This year brings more changes, too. The 2018 5 Series has three new powertrain options, a plug-in hybrid 530, a six-cylinder diesel engine 540D as well as a twin-turbo VHM 550i that puts the automobile very close to BMW M5 territory. We were our watchy fans on the base 530i along with the 540i, so these additions carry an additional benefit, whether it is the efficiency from the 530 as well as the 540d or even the muscular power with the M550i. On the technology front, BMW is constantly on the push the envelope, offering wireless Apple CarPlay integration, natural language voice recognition or a cool 3D simulation of one's car on the surface you need to see to believe with the optional surround view cameras. And as far as modern driver assist aids go, BMWs are one of the best. Of course, there are many luxury sedans consider, such as Audi A6, the Lexus GS and also the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. We think highly on the 5 Series in this particular group, though. Plus it earns a good recommendation. Notably, we pick the 2018 BMW 5 Series as considered one of best all-wheel drive sedans and best mid-size sedans because of this year. What's new? Three new 5 Series variants join the lineup for 2018, the 530i Performance Plug-in Hybrid, the 540d X-Drive 6-cylinder diesel as well as the range-topping M550i X-Drive featuring its turbocharged V8. The 5 Series also gets some minor shuffling of options and packages this season. You'll likely be happy with the power through the 530i, though the extra power plus much more engaging sound of BMW's turbocharged 6-cylinder increase the risk for 540i the 5 Series worth paying more for. In either case, we presume the Driver Assistance Plus package, which has numerous active security features, is really a must-have. We'd include the premium package to acquire keyless entry, heated seats and hands-free trunk opening. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 BMW 5 Series can be a 5-passenger sedan easily obtainable in 5 trim levels, by having different powertrains. The 530i 248 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, and also the 530i performance plug in hybrid 248 horsepower, 310 lbftr, powered by variants of BMW's turbocharged 2.0 litre four cylinder engine. Next are two six cylinders, the 540i 335 horsepower. 332 lbft gets to be a turbocharged 3.0 liter inline 6 plus the 540d 261 horsepower 457 lbft incorporates a 3.0 liter inline 6 diesel at the top with the range would be the M550i featuring its turbocharged 4.4 liter v8 456 horsepower 480 lbft. BMW's all-wheel drive, called X-Drive, can be an option within the 530i, the 530 plus the 540i. 
it's standard within the 540D along with the M550i. An 8-speed automatic is standard overall. The base 530i along with the 530 come pretty nicely equipped on the start with LED adaptive headlights, 18-inch wheels, and driver selectable vehicle settings to vary steering, transmission response and throttle calibration. They also include power folding and heated mirrors the driver's side has auto dimming, automatic wipers, a sunroof, dual zone automatic climate control, an electricity adjustable leader, power adjustable front sport seats, driver seat memory functions, a 402040 split folding rear seat and simulated leather upholstery. Standard technology features add semi drive interface using a knob and button based touchpad controller along with a 10.2 inch touchscreen display. Also standard, a navigation system, natural language voice controls, Bluetooth, BMW emergency services, two USB ports, as well as a 12 speaker sound system that has a CD player. The 540i along with the diesel powered 540d are equipped very similarly to the earlier two trims bit of standard leather upholstery. It's a greater price jump for the new performance F focused M550i X drive, such as everything above plus 19 inch wheels with performance tires, an adaptive suspension with electronically controlled dampers, upgraded brakes. Full LED adaptive headlights with automatic high beams, aerodynamic bodywork, a rear spoiler, upgraded power front seats, an M Sport tire, keyless entry and also a power trunk lid. With the exception with the M550i X drive, once you decided what powertrain you need, it is possible to select from certainly one of three, five series styling packages. The Sport could be the default choice and is sold with gloss black design elements for the bumpers. The luxury style features chrome accents on the front grille on the rear tailpipes, with light alloy wheels and modified bumper inserts to suit. The M Sport steps in the sportiness with the aerodynamic style treatment, a cheaper M Sport suspension, and shadow line exterior trim. From this aspect, BMW provides a variety of packages, or tiers in BMW lingo. The premium package adds an electrical trunk, keyless ignition and entry, satellite radio, gesture control and heated front seats. Go while using executive package to obtain full LED adaptive headlights with automatic high beams, soft close automatic doors, parking sensors, an automated parking system a lively digital instrument cluster, as well as a surround view camera system with 3D mode. Naturally, more customization is accessible. The dynamic handling package has an adaptive suspension and active roll stabilization. For the M550i, which is included with the adaptive suspension, you additionally get integral active steering, which is usually a rear steer system. A luxury seating package bundles ventilated multi-contour front seats with massage function and upgraded leather upholstery. The driving assistance package has two levels, the initial of including a head-up display, blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning. Upgrading to your driving assistance plus version also gets you forward collision warning with object and pedestrian protection, adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. Many of such features is usually equipped as standalone options alongside Apple CarPlay, remote device parking, night vision with pedestrian detection, a heated controls, a rear seat entertainment system, Harman Kardon or Bowers and Wilkins premium audio systems, wireless smartphone charging and surround mic trimmed controls. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions that happen to be fundamentally similar. The S on this review derived from our full test with the 2017 BMW 530i Turbo 2.0 liters inline 4, 8 speed automatic, RWD. Driving.
if the driving experience is actually important to you, then your 530i is really a sedan to think about. With the exception of upgraded brakes, this BMW doesn't depend on sheer horsepower or road grip to sling it around corners. What you get instead is often a package that feels very well-rounded, what's best? Acceleration Fears an unexpected amount of punch out of this turbo four-cylinder therefore you won't seem like you've compromised for efficiency. Power delivery is smooth and quiet which has a robust mid-range that only actually starts to fall off a tad on the top bar. For the class it's quick, covering 060 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. Braking Braking is L to smooth and straightforward but also powerful at any given time to be. Our test car had the upgraded M Sport brakes, which delivered good feedback and drama free stability. It took the 530i 108 feet to halt from 60 miles per hour, and that is admirable especially with all season tires. Steering The steering feels nicely weighted in every drive modes. Sport mode isn't needlessly hefty but is only enough for being noticeable, and the comfort felt such as the perfect luxury balance. The steering isn't hyper communicative, but the auto's respond to our inputs feels precise and direct. Handling This is when a sport sedan should handle. The 530i isn't a high performance machine, but it really has very solid fundamentals. It's balanced. It turns and rotates as asked, and it also handles mid-corner bumps without issue. This car isn't much about speed as it will be the pleasure of driving. Drivability The turbo 4-cylinder and 8-speed complement the other. Response varies depending for the drive mode, sport keeps a higher gear and comfort favors fuel efficiency, but either is effective. Fears a short lag when kicking down a gear in comfort mode, nevertheless it's inoffensive. Comfort The 530i is usually a supremely comfortable car with impressive climate control features, highly adjustable and massaging seats, plus a whisper quiet, soft riding cabin. The only issue we had with all the climate method is its chance to keep us properly chilled. Seat Comfort the seats consist of everything, a bunch of adjustment, ventilation and also heat, and massaging bottom cushions. Strip these wonderful things away along with the front bottom seat cushions do feel just a little flat. Rear seat cushions are comfy and heated, with ample padding on each of the armrest areas. Ride Comfort the ride is comfortable and relatively plush yet well damped thus it doesn't feel floaty or untethered. This amount of ride quality is specially impressive considering our 530i test car was outfitted with run-flat tires, which can be associated that has a busier ride as a result of stiff sidewalls. Noise and Vibration Fears a mild volume of low-frequency road noise that creeps in and also for the most part this cabin is actually comparatively quiet. Fears no wind noise along with the engine is audible but doesn't come through much by any means, which assists the 530i sneak below the decibel level with the Mercedes-Benz E300. Climate Control The climate controls possess a lot of variability with dual temp and dual fan speed control. You could also warm more cooler cabin or seats with a preset temperature or time. The seat ventilation is loud however, not very effective, plus the auto climate didn't ever turn the fan speed quite enough. Interior The 530 is cabin is definitely an excellent spot to spend time if you are a tall rear passenger. The controls are as fundamental as they may be. Even so the countless functions remember to learn. Climbing in and out is really a breeze, and between camera aids and windows, there is not any worry about blind spots. Ease of usage. BMW is excellent at minimizing button count, but that leaves lots for I drive to regulate. 
The iDrive menus are pretty straightforward and straightforward to navigate, however it takes time to wrap your brain around every one of the options and customization available. It is usually a little intimidating. Getting and jetting out. The generous store openings make climbing inside and out a breeze, with lots of head clearance front and back. And these iron tree seat moves back, providing more room to the driver to obtain in. A lack of rear leg clearance will be the only downside for just a rear passenger sitting behind a taller person. Driving position. The driver's seat provides a good level of adjustment, with electronic adjusters for reach and tilt with a steering column. The steering column has a large amount of range, so drivers of all sizes will be able to find their ideal position. Roominess. Fears ample space to all directions up front and also a decent quantity of legroom with the spine, but under seat toe room is often a little sparse. Rear headroom is a bit more than sufficient, along with a tall person shouldn't get issues sitting behind a tall driver. Visibility The windows are nicely sized, especially in the rear. Fears great visibility out from the rear window as a result of rear headrests that will not impede the vista. The excellent 360 degree, high definition camera system supplies a ton of multiple angles. It doesn't get far better. Quality The quality of BMW's electronics is top notch, in the central touch screen to your driver's gauge cluster. The fit of interior panels can also be nice, however, many materials used, for example the wood trim, leather and plastic, are rent quite at the higher level Audi and Mercedes Benz. Utility the 530i features a fairly generous trunk with flexible cargo configurations thanks to your 402040 split folding rear seat. In carbon storage is improved over previous years, and also the car seat tankers are typically accessible. The number of back seats space could be the only concern for larger baby car seats. Small item storage. BMW has been doing a better job with in carbon storage, water bottle pockets on all of the doors, a retractable cover that houses a bin for wireless phone charging in the beginning, plus a decent size glove box and center armrest space. Still not a huge amount of storage, nevertheless it's sufficient for any European luxury sedan. Cargo space At 18.7 cubic feet the 530 is trunk is larger than most inside the segment. The trunk incorporates a wide opening as well as a lower lift over, but it really narrows a reasonable amount toward the back on the rear seats. The folding rear seats are split 402,040, that gives some nice flexibility. Child safety seat accommodation. Car seat anchors can be accessed under plastic flip doors using a pair of anchors at intervals of rear outboard seat. Top tethers may also be easy to access. Technology BMW is usually a technology juggernaut and one with the more aggressive manufacturers on the subject of innovative features. Most of them are helpful, even though some are cool parlor tricks, but we appreciate them. But iDrive's character recognition could be getting too smart for the own good. Audio and navigation. The head unit sounds great and responds well to BMW's gesture control, sometimes easier than utilizing the regular volume control. iDrive offers easy interface with the NAF system, however the touchpad's character recognition kept misidentified letters we entered as special characters. Smartphone integration. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto along with a wired native interface mean there are lots of options and so they all work very well. The only other luxury brand that delivers such comprehensive device integration is Genesis, nonetheless it still takes a USB connection for Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Driver Aids One from the leading active driving aids, Adaptive Cruise works quite well to maintain a strong gap between traffic. 
The system may also actuate the brakes hard yet smoothly as required. The most impressive feature, the HD cameras that assist render a great 3D image in the outside of the automobile. Voice control. You are able to use the native voice recognition VR or VR via your smartphone. The native system responds well to natural language and supplies control of radio, media and call functions. If you manage a function that does not exist, the computer tells you in lieu of just beeping.